Really has been nice. In fact, here's a look at highs today. We hit 74 in Seattle. Uh, <laughs> coastal spots still feeling the cool down. 59 in Hoquiam. All you got today, Port Angeles at 62. Eastern Washington, very, very warm. And we talked yesterday about how this promotes the May gray or June gloom, that morning cloud cover we've been getting. But either way, it's still nice. And then I pulled this from earlier today. 74 Seattle, 74 Fairbanks, Alaska. Whoo! Talk about being warm when you're in Alaska and you say temperature 74, you know that's warm. And they've got 70 stretching all the way up through British Columbia and Alberta, Canada. Speaking of which, there have been some fires in Alberta. And if you notice a little bit of an orange tint to the haze, it may be because we're seeing a little bit of smoke coming in from there. But uh, it's not much now, so not going to highlight too much on that. A couple isolated thunderstorms left over I-90 near Spokane, east of Wenatchee. Other than that, very quiet. The instability is still there, just meaning tomorrow, once we get uh, temperatures to warm back up into the mid to upper 70s, we can see these trigger off yet again. All that blue there and even the yellow just shows some higher cloud tops and, and, and the unstable atmosphere that is somewhat present. Okay, I like showing that and just to give you an idea of what we're looking at. Now, if we look at the nation, uh, we've been talking a lot about Tornado Alley, a uh, folks in the nation's heartland just getting pounded tomorrow. Severe chances go up towards Chicago and the Great Lakes and also st uh, stems out there towards um, uh, the Carolinas out to our east. For us, it's just that isolated potential. Everything in this light green just means, hey, you have a chance to maybe see a thunderstorm somewhere in this green area. So uh, I don't think much of it's going to be west of the Cascades. In fact, tomorrow looks a little bit more limited. We've got the cloud covering uh, cloud cover coming back in in the morning. Okay, no question there. Quickly retreating. Coastal spots, I know you've been socked in the last couple of days. I think tomorrow you're going to see some sunshine if you're right on the beaches, which will be good. Uh, as we head into the afternoon, we don't get much blossoming over the mountains, uh, so I'm not really going to be talking too much about that. And then we go into Friday night, and the clouds will eventually work its way back in. So morning clouds, afternoon sun, living it up just like that for the next several days. So by noon, we're in the upper 60s. By the afternoon, upper 70s. Um, and really, that's about it. So pollen count, if anyone's curious, trees, low, grass, weeds in the moderate category. And uh, seven day forecast is going to show not much rain out there. We do have a very weak system that could bring a couple of raindrops towards the end of next week. Until then, we are very, very warm.